<laughs> and that's when I said, it's not a soliloquy, it's a sonnet. <laughs> oh, hello. But all this pretentiousness isn't just ours. Like most things in life, it's all just fake. We may appear to be the epitome of elitism, at the height of high culture, but the truth is, we're just poor students. I mean, this is just goon. Cheers. Cheers. And we did break into this place. Speaking, Speaking of, of which... which... What are you doing in here? Run. Sydney is Australia's cultural capital of art, music, theatre and food. Accessibility and opportunity are two different things. And whilst we may be living in an abundance of culture, it's very hard to be part of it when you're living on student dollars. Especially when theatre tickets usually cost upwards of $60 a show. So we're here to show you how to fake it till you make it and experience high culture on a student budget. Let's check it out. Next stop. Art is one of the bastions of Sydney culture and anyone who knows me knows that I never stop talking about art. I mean, this is my second video in a row on the damn topic. But the MCA is still my go-to for an art gallery that's free every single day and still has some really amazing and innovative Australian art. The MCA has shown some truly amazing work over the last few months. I've seen exhibitions like Light Show, featuring the likes of James Terrell and all of his play on light and atmosphere. And I've also seen some really unique work like Energies, which blended science and the arts into one super unconventional viewing experience. So come on and check it out at the MCA. Plus every Thursday, there's live music at the Sculpture Terrace on the rooftop of the MCA, which makes for such a unique viewing experience and such a serene harbourside view. As Oscar Wilde once said, regard theatre as the highest of art forms. It is the most immediate way for a human being to share with someone else the sense of what it is to be a human being. But it's not always easy to share in this sense as a student when a single theatre ticket typically costs the same price as an annual Netflix subscription. But fear not, there is a way to get your theatrical fix without breaking the bank. If the likes of Hamlet, and Romeo and Juliet take your fancy. The Bell Shakespeare Company offer $30 tickets for under 30s on a few nights per week. But if productions by the Sydney Theatre Company are what you're gunning to see, don't worry. They are selling $20 tickets to all of their shows, but there's one catch. It's only on a Tuesday morning at 9am online and it typically sells out within 60 seconds. So it is a race against the clock. But that's what makes it all the more exclusive don't you think? You can't live in Sydney without experiencing waterfront dining at least once. But you don't have to fork out for one of these expensive harbourside restaurants. As they say, make it till you make it. And isn't it about location, location, location? And what a fine location this is. Isn't it just? Cracker. Baby Bell. What a match made in heaven. <laughs> Taste that high culture. Aren't we just so cultured? 